Sanibel Island is just a 30-minute drive from Fort Myers in southwest Florida. There are so many incredible things to do and see on the island, with stunningly beautiful beaches, diverse wildlife, and natural wonders worthy of being on a postcard. There's no shortage of things to keep you and your family entertained and fulfilled on your next vacation to the Sunshine State. So keep watching to find out about the best things to do on Sanibel Island. J.N. Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge while man-made structures and installations are often quite impressive, nothing quite beats the intrinsic beauty and diversity of what Mother Nature has given us. This wildlife refuge is the premier destination in the Sanibel area for seeing wildlife and the wonders of nature up close and personal. The refuge's visitor center is open to the public and won't cost anything. Here you'll learn all about the ecosystem and the native plant and animal life of the region, while also learning the backstory of the refuge's founder, Jay Norwood Ding Darling. Interactive and informative displays, floor-to-ceiling windows, and all the latest wildlife spotting info will clue you in on the ins and outs of all things nature-related on Sanibel Island. If you still have a few things you're curious about, though, you can always ask one of the friendly and knowledgeable rangers on duty any nature-oriented question you might have. They are a wealth of knowledge and always eager to assist you in your quest for information. Once you're ready to actually get out and see the refuge in all of its glory, you can take a guided 90-minute tour riding an open-air tram. Your guide will be a certified naturalist who knows just about everything there is to know about the refuge's resident bobcats, birds, otters, and gators. If you prefer to explore solo, you can always take your vehicle on the same route the tram takes. There are also four hiking trails on site, which are all worth taking. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can even paddleboard or kayak through the lush mangroves. Rentals are available at the gear shop, or you can always bring your own. If you're an avid birder, you'll want to bring your binoculars. And for all you anglers out there, the refuge also offers several phenomenal fishing spots. Sanibel Lighthouse Beach Park this historic 112-foot lighthouse is visible for miles. You can find it by heading out to the eastern tip of the island. The lighthouse dates back to 1884 and is built on a pristine white sand beach. In fact, this beach is perhaps one of the finest on the island. The beach has two main sections wrapping around from a central point. One faces out towards the Sanibel Causeway, while the other, which is far longer and larger, faces the Gulf of Mexico. The park has facilities and amenities like showers, restrooms, picnic tables, and large shady spaces. Over at the Sanibel Fishing Pier, you can cast your line out in hopes of snagging some small fish. If you're aiming to visit the pier or lighthouse, park in the northern lot. If you're strictly interested in soaking up some sun on the beach, park at the southern lot. Before we tell you more about Sanibel Island, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Bowman's Beach this beach is famed for its abundant and beautiful, unique seashells. If you put in a little bit of legwork, you might even discover a few rare ones. If you're hoping to find a gem, locals recommend wading out into the water at about waist deep. Then you'll want to dig your feet into the sand and feel around for the shells. Obviously, it'll help if you bring a pair of water shoes with you for a bit of protection. Besides shelling, Bowman's is also a great place to swim or work on your tan. Since the park has picnic tables, barbecue grills, and ample shaded areas, it wouldn't hurt to hit up the local grocery store before heading to the beach to stock up for a day of rest and relaxation. If you're traveling with children, there's also a playground in the wooded area adjacent to the beach. The Mad Hatter Located on the northernmost tip of the island, a stone's throw from the bridge that leads to Captiva Island, is this fantastic beachside restaurant. With its incredible views and delicious menu items, it's without a doubt one of the best dining options in the Sanibel area. It's located on the shores of Blind Pass Beach and is a lovely place to witness a sunset while enjoying a dinner you won't soon forget. The restaurant's interior is just as unique as its location. Drawing inspiration from Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter is adorned with vibrantly bold colored walls, intriguing art, and stained glass. Start off your meal with a scrumptious starter like the goat cheese pillows. For your main course, we recommend giving the pan-seared black grouper a go. And to wrap up, sink your teeth into the Mad Hatter's signature espresso creme brulee. Grandma Dot's Saloon Grandma Dots is located on the water in the Sanibel Marina, not far from the lighthouse. They're open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, and the prices are affordable. There's ample indoor seating, but if weather permits, we recommend asking for a table outside. But regardless of where you get a table, the service is fast, friendly, and professional, and the food is downright amazing. 
Grandma Dot's lunch menu offers things like fresh caught seafood sandwiches, salads, fries, and their famed homemade New England style clam chowder. Come dinner time, you can order items like mahi mahi, shrimp, and grouper. They also have a stellar drink menu featuring craft beer and a wide range of spirits and cocktails. If you're not feeling seafood, no worries. There are plenty of steak and chicken entrees on the menu as well, but leave plenty of room for dessert because their captain's key lime pie is worth writing home about. Bailey Matthews National Shell Museum After spending some time at the beach seashelling, you might get curious about what sorts of creatures created and lived in all these beautiful shells. This museum is a great place to have your shell-related questions answered. They have more than 30 exhibits that showcase shells from both the Sanibel Island as well as shells from across the globe. Over at record-breaking shells display, you can see a goliath conch. Trust us, this is one seashell that'll blow you away. Besides shells, the museum also has a few live tanks where naturalists work with animals. The tanks are set in a classroom-like setting where visitors can get a chance to participate in fun and engaging ways. Sanibel Historical Museum and Village If you need to get out of the sun for a bit and enjoy a bit of AC, head on over to this museum to learn all about Sanibel's storied past. It's located in the central part of the island and features an extensive collection of artifacts, relics, and oddities related to Sanibel's history. You'll be taken on an informative journey covering the earliest days of human habitation in the area when the Calusa Native Americans called Sanibel their home. You'll then learn about the Spanish colonial era, the pioneer settlers of the 1800s, and Sanibel's modern development. The museum is comprised of nine historic buildings dating back to the late 19th century, including an old schoolhouse and post office. They've all been carefully restored to their original splendor. Inside, you'll find a wealth of fascinating items of historical significance, accompanied with informative displays to give you a bit of their history. Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation Nature Center After you've paid a visit to the National Shell Museum, head to this nearby nature center. Here, you'll get a chance to learn about the ecosystem of Sanibel while walking along the Sanibel River and raised boardwalks that sit just about the wetlands. There are four miles of boardwalks laid out like a maze. As you explore, you'll frequently see animals like wading birds, gators, turtles, and snakes. Indoors, you can find aquariums, detailed maps, and educational displays that provide all sorts of info about the local wildlife. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on Sanibel Island? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.